Okay, I have two very simple minerals here. One of them fairly common, the other one very rare, and the common one everyone is familiar with. I'll start with the common one first. This bright or deep blue mineral is called halite, and you're more familiar with it because you probably ate some this morning. It's also known as table salt. Uh, now you look at it, I think you can see the blue color, but I thought you said it was salt, and salt isn't blue. <laughs> and if I analyze this, it turns out there's nothing in this but sodium chloride. It is pure sodium chloride. Now the other one here, these red going all throughout here, that's all one crystal, by the way. Those are all connected within the rock. At like it, The rock is like a sponge and the single crystal winds its way between the other grains. So that's all one big crystal. And it's a crystal of sodium fluoride called viliomite and you're not familiar with this one who has who has besides mineral people who has ever seen a piece of sodium fluoride wandering around even if you're into minerals viliomite is rare but for a piece of information if you get it in the chemistry lab it looks just like halite that is colorless white and yet this one's deep red and that one's deep blue. Uh, what has happened here is that there is some radioactivity in the area. And the radioactivity has knocked some of the ions in the salt out of place, leaving a hole in one place and an extra ion, sodium or chlorine, floating around free where it shouldn't be somewhere else. And it turns out that combination of a hole and an extra separated ion will absorb visible light. It, it will absorb some energy. In the case of the halite, it absorbs long wavelength energy and the blue ones go through. And so the material turns out to be blue. In the case of the viliomite, the sodium fluoride, it absorbs short wavelength light. And so the remaining material, the remaining light that comes through is the long wavelengths. And so the mineral appears red. Now exactly why that happens, you'll need to take a de detailed course in quantum mechanics <laughs> to tell that. But here's a practical bit of information, actually, if you're doing some mining. When I was in geology field camp in Nova Scotia, one of the field trips we went on was down into a salt mine. And it turns out that when I looked around, I saw that some of the salt was tinted blue. And that was curious. Where is the radioactivity from? It turns out when I poked around a little bit, I found some potassium chloride and some potassium magnesium chloride. There were some potassium salts in the mine as well. Our guide didn't know about them. He's one of the people that works for the mine. <laughs> and it turns out potassium salts are valuable as fertilizer. So that the blue halite, oh, and one of the Radi one of the isotopes of potassium, potassium-40, is radioactive. So if you find blue halite, that's an indication that somewhere around there, there is probably associated potassium, which has economic value. Now, they were not doing anything about the potassium in that mine. I cannot give you more of the story I do not know if they ever got around to using the potassium, but they should have at least investigated to see whether there was enough of it to be economically valuable. As I say, I have absolutely no idea whether they did anything with it or not. I was a poor uh, 
ignorant sophomore in geology. <laughs> so I wasn't able to follow up on it. But anyway, that's the, oh, this particular one, by the way, this particular mineral, the viliomite, is very, very rare, found in only a few places in the world. Fortunately, one of them happens to be about 25 miles east of Quebec. And so I got to collect in the quarry where this particular mineral is fairly common, maybe two or three places in North America where it is found. The halite, you go down to the beach sometime, and if you've got a rock with a little hollow in it and the waves wash over it, leave it in the sun, you can find the little crystals of halite. So that's easy. Thank you, Dr. Klaus Krenak. Very welcome. <laughs>